Um, six editors, one CPU. Part the the fourth. Fourth. We part think. sixty-nine. Part four. Okay. Section four. <laughs> okay. Try to be less annoying. There's yeah. been a lot of comments. No, about I how saw that you yeah. are. So here's what went down. Six workstations, one CPU was a project that I invested many, many, many hours of my time into trying to figure out what it was. Was it software? Was it hardware? Was it firmware? Was it drivers? What was causing the crashes whenever we tried to load up certain virtual machines in our latest crazy virtualization project? And the answer? It was the hardware. I love ASUS, love them very dearly, but what I don't love is this slot and this slot because they are dirty little slots. Basically, either they just outright don't work or they're bifurcation, which means taking 16 PCI Express lanes and splitting them out into two 8x lanes so you can have two separate devices running at 8x doesn't work, but that's okay. Thank you, Jake. You can uh, pack that back up for me because we have this. So back when I started the project, this board didn't exist. This is a dual LGA 3647 socket motherboard from Tyan. It also has support for 12 memory sticks so we can put the same 384 gigs of RAM on it. It also has 10 gig networking on board and a bunch of, it's got U.2 connectors. And this one, oh, look at this. Is that, is that, is it, is that 11? 11 PCI Express slots? So this is gonna be fun because today we are gonna get it working for real. Hopefully. Thermaltake's A500 has a modern minimalistic design, brushed aluminum panels, and dual hinge swing tempered glass doors. Check it out today at the link in the video description. So to be clear, ASUS is actually still working on a fix for their board. By the way, massive shout out to Wendell for helping hey. us figure out the, the bifurcation issue. But in the meantime, we did want to try something else because we want this project done. And Tyan claimed when we contacted them that it would be no problem. In fact, they actually had a couple of boards that could work. This one that I showed you, which was kind of a lie because we're not going to use this one because it doesn't fit in any case. Um, and the one that's actually on the test bench right behind me here. So this is a standard SSI EEB form factor board, just like that one, with the main differences being that it's only got seven PCI Express slots, just like the ASUS board that we were using. It's got three of these U.2 looking connectors over there, more on that in a moment. It's got its two M.2s and uh, I mean, yeah, it just doesn't have 11 slots. Like it's still got six slots for memory and all of that good stuff. So we're basically ready to rock. And I wanna walk you guys through what I have set up here for those of you who haven't seen this madness before. So in our top slot here, we've got an external PCI Express like sort of riser card with an extender cable that runs over to this daughter board here. The reason we want this is that we want each one of our VMs to have its own dedicated USB 3 controller so that if we had to do, say for example, um, a high speed ingest of footage for editing or whatever else, everyone could do that without running into a system bottleneck. So right now, all of these cards, if we were to pin them all at the same time, it might be a little borderline because this is a PCIe 8x link right here. But if we went 16x, which we may be able to do in the finished one, I don't imagine that would actually be a problem. The last thing over here is a 10 gigabit networking card, but we'd like to go 100 gigabit for the final project. So we're running the same Thermaltake PCI Express extensions that we were using before, except Jake actually had the ingenious idea of instead of just stacking the cards next to the bench on the table, grabbing this old uh, DIY mining rig that he had lying around and putting all of our Titan Vs on that. So at least something good came out of that whole mining craze. For the rest of the hardware, we've got two AX1500i power supplies just because of the way that this whole thing hooks up. We'll come up with a better way to do that later. And then we've got the Optane 905Ps that we were planning to use as our boot drives with these uh, adapters from U.2 to PCI Express 4X. Now, one small problem, and that is that these, while they are physically the same connector, as NVMe U.2, it's actually called um, SSFP, oh. 
No, FF I don't think so. Something, something. Something crazy. It's a mi mini SAS HD. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, that's mini it. SAS HD. So this is meant to be used as a breakout into just four like SATA connections. Or a bunch of things. So there's no actual PCI Express backing for this. So that's where these M.2 drives come in and maybe we'll do, use adapters to go to these, to go to the other, whatever. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. The last change is that we're running Xeon Gold CPUs because I actually dropped one of our 8180 Platinums and it's got a dead memory channel. And so just for troubleshooting purposes, we wanted stuff that definitely works. Oh. But there's good news. Check this out. So here's workstation one. We're gonna grab our top Titan V. It's accompanying sound card. We had to apply the same fixes for uh, PCI stubbing so that we can get all these USB cards showing up here, as well as um, uh, ACS override, downstream multifunction. So all that's done just like last time. We're gonna go ahead and fire this up. Now this should work and it should show up over here. Hey! Mind you, we had a single VM working just fine on the other one. Also, we need to make sure that our daughter board, which is some weird, weird friggin' hardware, is working correctly as well. So it was one of the Renesas ones? So Didn't it must be this one. It's this one or this one? Our mouse should light up. There's a 50-50 chance that our mouse will light up. It did not, but that's okay because there is still a 50-50 chance. Just kidding, it should be 100%. Actually, it's probably less than 100% because hey. there's just a chance it won't work, but... It's setting up a device. Is it? Oh, yeah. I couldn't see that. Cool. Device is ready. The Sentinel-3 is ready to go. Come on, baby, anytime, Mr. Sentinel. Or Ms. Sentinel. Okay, hold on, no, no. We thought there was a chance this might happen. Fine. Oh, it's working, oh. it's working. Huzzah. Oh, hell yeah. I was like less than 50-50 that this was gonna work. Well, that's great. So then now we just proceed, right? Adding more? Yeah. Should we just like fire up like a game or something? So here's what we're gonna do for each one. We're gonna name it. We're gonna go ahead and uh, bit, bit, uh, I think that'll do. Giving it each one of them a three core CPU because we don't have a lot of CPU cores right now. I need to either buy a new one or beg and plead with Intel to send me a new one, which I strongly suspect they are not going to want to do because um, that team and I are not on the best of terms right now. So I saw in there uh, the CPU mode is in host path through mode. Um, so we're using that to hide the virtualization from the NVIDIA drivers? That's, yes. So they don't give you that weird error. And, That's right. Because they want you to buy quadros. Yeah. So they specifically bake in a specific error just as an FU. It's not like we cheaped out. <laughs> you know, GV100s, they're only like 10 grand, right? You think they'd send us six of those? No. Pass through what? Wait, Thank what is you. that? Oh, I... What the hell was that? Another VM? Well, which one is that? <laughs> well, you. What's going on here? Which one did you just turn on? Turn on? Yeah, you just turned one on. Wait, what is Windows 10? What is this one? I don't know. So this is great. It's actually Wendell to the rescue hey. again, or at least his community over on uh, Level 1 Tech's forum. So what it is is that we had assigned the USB device to one of the VMs, then booted that up, shut that down, tried to assign it to another one, and then boot that up. And some devices have an issue where they, like, they don't get fully let go of. Uh, we had this problem with the um, Radeon R9 Nanos or whatever those things were called from the original 7 Gamers 1 CPU, where if we had a crash in one of the VMs, we would actually have to completely reset the entire host in order to reboot the VM because of just the way that AMD's, I believe it was a firmware issue in that particular card was implemented. So we're just gonna go one at a time. We're gonna take it slow, baby. Slow hands. Slow hands. Okay, there's one. Got my point and finger ready. It's like twitching you. Oh. Wait, oh, there it is. I had my, oh, I didn't have my pointing finger ready anymore. Okay, two. This was the Wild West, we dead. Whoopah! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Three. Here comes number four. Oh, I want to back up. I don't want to get in the way of that. <laughs> Shut up. Too much horsepower. Ah, oh, there it is! Ah, ah, no, ah, no, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it works, ah, because 
you can see, the graphics drivers are loaded. Like that was our problem. We, we were able to light up lots of VMs before, but now like they're not crashing and the, the graphics drivers are loaded. Like they're running at the right resolution. It's working. Device manager, uh, display adapters, ah, Titan V. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, let's get a table. Ugh. Ow, that's my toe. All okay. Right. So this is not a great table. It's like three quarters of a desk. <laughs> Had some budget cuts, you know? It's January. You know yeah. how the YouTube ad revenue yeah, is. Yeah, it's, it's everything gets slashed. Uh, in all seriousness though, we're just using these like hobby board pieces. We're making our own tabletops. We think this is gonna be for the upcoming land center. So this is like the first prototype. We got these uh, how did that get cheap all gross? Uh, raising desk mount cheap. things. Cheap, what? Well, relatively. Look at the. Well, no, I, I mean they were inexpensive. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a yeah. bad use of words. <laughs> Isn't this crazy? Why would you ever need a desk this tall? Maybe if you're like seven feet tall. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can can we? I'm putting it back to a normal level. Can we get level? back Just on task here? Okay. No, no, I, I'm I'm good. Oh, just go ahead and. We're fill leaving them this here. Yeah, yeah. We can just put them both here. Oh, oh yeah. Seems fine. Why okay. don't we want to put them on there? Cool. Because we're gonna cover this in keyboards and mice. Where are all the keyboards and mice for this project? Oh, actually... also, how are we gonna plug into USB? It's way over there. Uh. So I'm saying we unplug all the power things because yes. we could just leave that power supply there. And we just move our motherboard over, over there. there. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Stop all. So kill it. everything with fire. Shut her down. Use your pointing finger. Uh, how do you do that so well? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there you go. That was a little better. Get in the hang of it. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, okay? <laughs> oh my god, Windows update! <laughs> <laughs> no way! Are they all doing it? I mean, presumably, they're all running on the same image. This board is so trippy. Like, it takes a 24 pin. Um, five. And EPS. then five eight pins. Are they all EPS? Yeah. Who the hell has five EPS connect? Like, what? Servers. See, that's the thing, though. What server has a modular power supply? And no, what server has five EPS connectors on it? I don't know. But uh, I think. They have to be purpose built. The Tesla V100s have EPS connectors, they don't have PCIe. Shut up. No, they do. It's a single eight pin, and then you can adapt two PCIe eight, eight pins into one EPS eight pin. That's madness. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So you need all your power connectors in there. And it's like very professionally mounted. Yeah. Top quality, I know how much you I like. I love these fans that are just literally in here as spacers and not even plugged in. Yeah, man. Gotta use Noctua for everything. I can't wait to order the cable mod kit for this build. <laughs> Thomas is gonna be like, what do you need twelve hundred dollars of cables for? <laughs> okay, uh, hit it with my best shot. Yeah, I love it. This, these tie-in boards they have onboard power buttons for like bench operation. So two hundred and fifty times six is fifteen hundred. Wow. I think these are aren't these more than two fifty? You don't sound very certain about any of this at this Man, point, so I'm I not just, really listening anymore. I'm Googling it. Here, let's ask Google. Why don't we go get the keyboards and mice that we need? How many watts is a Titan V? According to Amazon.com, NVIDIA Titan V has the power of 12 gigabytes HDM2 memory and 640 tensor cores, hey, delivering Jake. 110 teraflops of power. Do you wanna, we wanna have get 110 some. teraflops of watts. How many keyboards do we need? Um, four? I think four. Five. Five. Where did all the keyboards go? I can't even hear him. It doesn't matter if they're wrecked. This is just for testing. Okay, all right, all right, I'm coming. What is this? You said grab random ones. Oh, I can't <laughs> type on this. I don't care. Okay, this doesn't work. Oh, why is it still a thing? It's like, I don't know, you know it's sentimental. There was me grabbing actual keyboards. No, Jake, you don't need to grab actual okay, keyboards. Hold on. These are broken. Oh, it okay, doesn't just, matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, just chill. Looks like the budget cuts are really hurting us here. We're, we're short on space. Uh, <laughs> so I um, I don't know which is which right now. So what oh. I was kind of thinking. Are they actually plugged in properly? What, or uh, no. Hello, Dennis. Wild Dennis appears. So, um. I don't know how, but we somehow made this more jank than your setup, I think. Okay, so hold on a second. Which one's one? Okay, so one is the top. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. So wait, what is it? Let's just group them all together. Just screw it. We're just, just make sure we have two on each. Oh, should I plug in the 10 gig? Maybe. Hell yeah. 
Let's do Hell it. Hell yeah. Somebody's walking past with a basketball hoop. I'm a little confused. What? What's that for? Okay, is this in like some kind of a mode where for whatever reason H is volume down? We do not have enough disk space. Oh god, how big are these disks? Uh. Oh no. Not huge. Uh, can I just uninstall Premiere? You can do whatever you want. It's a free country. Yeah. But Wait, what? No, don't uninstall Premiere. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> so theoretically, all we have to do is pop open disk management now. And... Extend volume. Boom, 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 and bippity boppity. Where's Steam? Big volume. It's open. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. So what are we using? CSGO? Yeah, sure. So this is why the Steam cache is pretty great, right? Because so we got that one going at 40, that one going at 40. There's some other ones, presumably. Um, I mean, that's the only one pulling off the Steam cache, but... How do you know? Well, because that's the only one I configured to pull off the Steam cache. Why do you need to configure it? I thought our, oh. our DNS settings are just... I don't think we did that. In the router? I thought you did. Because my It wasn't me. It wasn't me. No. Hey! There we go! See, it was using the cache. 40, nice! 40, 40, 40, 40. Nice! Oh, oh. Oh! Wait, oh, no, no, it's back. back, it's back. This one's at 70, 50. That's looking hot. Ooh. If you're into that sort of thing. <sighs> so when we do put the land center over there, we'll be able to all download games at like... CSGO. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So now we have to like get... updates. All these people. It does Windows update too, right? You play Origin... Sure. Food? Do you know? I don't, I don't know. People okay. are about to have a bad time. Okay guys, come on over. Uh, I have a primo, primo gaming experience for you guys. Uh, six workstations, one CPU is officially working. Uh, we haven't quite worked out the logistics of the keyboards and mice. Uh, these are all bot matches, so everyone feel free to um, find a keyboard and mouse and figure out what the crap screen you're running on. Oh, I'm that one. We said it's premium, uh, but we're, yeah. we're actually marketing people, so we don't know. Yep, we're primo. This is primo. Oh, I got a kill! Yep, and uh, the audio is a little bit messed up because we don't know uh, which source this monitor in particular is pulling audio from. We can actually have a look at our CPU usage here. So you can see the cores that I've assigned. I left uh, core one alone. So cores two to 18 are assigned and you can see we're sucking up anywhere from 70, 50 to as high as 90% usage on these cores playing CSGO. So this is good enough, but there would be games that would be more demanding where we'd run into trouble. So it's working. This is crazy exciting, but the next stage is productivity. So we need higher end networking. We need faster boot drives. We're gonna move to Optane and we're gonna try to edit 8K video on all six of these workstations at once. But this is a good start. It's stable. It's finally stable. Mastrop's Sennheiser HD 6XX headphones are some of their best selling of all time with over 60,000 units sold. And I can see why, because they have an unchanged driver and sound structure compared to the HD 650s, meaning that you get a nice balanced mid-range and natural sounding bass. They've added a detachable six foot cable instead of a 10 foot cable based on community feedback. And they come with an eighth inch plug that's versatile for everyday use and a quarter inch adapter. You also get long-term support from Sennheiser. So check out the link today to join the drop now. So thanks to Jake for getting this working, ty -Ann for having a motherboard that works properly, and you guys for watching. And if Wendell. you guys disliked this video, oh, and Wendell. Hey. If you guys dislike this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Join the bot This gang. is clearly the most ergonomic my gaming setup of all time. <laughs> my, my bots? Can anyone see my... Get your own nipple twister! Yeah. Hold on, I'm getting shot by an easy bot. <laughs>